Hello, welcome to RDN Developers YouTube channel. In this video, we will spin up an online demo of the RDN payment plugin for Magento 2 using Gitpod. Now, Gitpod is an open source platform that allows users to quickly spin up dev environment without having to install any local dependencies. So all you just need is your code repository on GitHub and you can quickly test on Gitpod. So we have steps here to follow to spin up the online instance. We also have a couple of instructions um, to run this demo locally. For this step, you should have your RDN API credentials. This can be generated from your RDN test account. If you don't have a test account yet, you can sign up for a test account. Now the credentials we need for this demo includes uh, RDN API key, client key, RDN merchant account. Now to step two, we go ahead to create our Gitpod account variables. So for this option, we'll be using GitHub. The Gitpod variables helps us to automatically inject uh, the values of our variables into the .env file. You can set this up to have it already pre-configured in your workspace. One thing I would like to mention is that the Gitpod variables must match what we have on this on the on the page. So to set up your API key. For instance, you need to copy the same variable name here. It must be the same with what we have in the in your Gitpod variables. So for instance, we can create uh, our API key. You set the values of your API key here, then uh, the scope. The scope should be, let's say, asterisk slash asterisk. Now this makes it available for all projects you're launching from your Gitpod. So we can click on this to add variables. After setting all our API credentials, next we're going to create our username and password. This is very important as you will be using this to log into the Magento admin dashboard. So we create admin username, then set the value of your username here. Let's say your DG. Yeah, so it can be unique. You can set um, your own username here. Then scope, we can use at the end dash examples slash asterisks. This will make it available for all the projects that are currently under this repository. Next, we create our password. So we're going to use the variable name admin password. Set the value of your password here. The value of your password must contain both a letter and a number to follow the Magento best practice. Without this, the Magento instance will not be fully deployed. You can set up your password as unique as you like, but make sure it contains a letter and a number. So we add the scope and add. Your complete Gitpod variable should look something like this. Now, once our, our credentials are properly set on Gitpod, um, we can now move to step three. Open this repo in Gitpod. So I'm going to just open this in a new tab. So what happens here is that Gitpod is currently um, fetching our code and pulling all the necessary images for our workspace to run. So here we have um, several options to um, to go from here are for the actions. We can open in browser, we can connect um, via SSH to our favorite IDE. For the purpose of this demo, we're going to open in browser. So as you can see, we have all our files pulled from GitHub. We have our Docker Compose files. We have install, install scripts. We also have our um, preview page here. We can just close all the tabs we don't need and um, leave our preview page. Our preview page is going to show port 88 is not found. And that's because our application is not fully deployed. And don't worry, the errors are fine. We'll get rid of them once we complete our installation. Okay, so this should take around four minutes to fully install. At this stage, the Magento instance is fully installed and ready for the next step. For now, the best way to know when to move to the next step is to look out for the um, starting periodic command um, scheduler cron line here. 
Now let's move on to the next stage, um, which is installing the Agent Payments plugin. So we're going to achieve this by running our install script. So this is already a busy terminal. So we're going to open another, another tab. We can run our install script dot slash install dot sh. Let's look at what we have in the install script. The script installs the Agent Payment plugin, which helps us to integrate with Agent. Then also it pre-configures the, the plugins with our API credentials from the Gitpod variables. You should take a few seconds to install. Now our Magento instance is fully installed and we've also installed the Agent Payment plugin. Time now to go back to the preview page and try to refresh. Yeah, so we have our Magento instance fully installed and um, configured with Agent Payment plugin. So let's open this in a new tab so we can view our instance in the full screen. We have here a sample of a Magento our website with some um, sample products uh, which we can make use of in our demo. Before we make a test payment, let's log into the admin dashboard to confirm that the Agent Payment plugin is properly installed. So we can log into the dashboard by adding slash admin to the um, preview URL. To access the dashboard, we're going to log in with the username and password we created in the previous step. Let's do that. Confirm that your password is correct and log in. Now we've logged in into our dashboard. Let's confirm the agent payment plugin. So we go to stores, we go to configuration, other sales, go to payment methods. Yeah, so we have our agent payment plugin installed. You can confirm under required settings to know if the values of the Gitpod variables was properly configured. One important thing for us to do before making a test payment is to add Gitpod.io in the list of allowed origin in the customer area. Now, this would allow agent dropping and components to load, um, which includes the card component. We can do this in our custom area on the client settings. So once that is done, you can click on save changes. Very important. You can check out our documentation page on more information on API credentials and configurations. Let's go back to our demo storefront. Let's make a test payment. We're just going to shop some random items here. So let's pick a bag and a shirt and sell it a large size shirt. Um, black. Okay, so let me get another shirt, large, pink, and add to cart. So in our cart, we have a total of 135 euros item. So let's proceed to checkout. We can populate this form with some random data just to get our payment on the way. I'm just going to select Netherlands so I can see. Now these are just random data. So we click on next after filling the, the form. Now we have the agent payment method displayed. We can now see the card component. Now this is a test payment. We're not actually making a live payment. Um, we have text test card you can use to um, to carry out these transactions. Um, you can check out our, our documentation page. I will also be linking this in the description to find um, those um, test card numbers you can use. Let's um, use one of our test card number. Then we place order. Our order is successful. We can confirm this um, this transaction in the customer area and also in the Magento dashboard. Go to sales orders. So this is just the, this is the last transaction we just carried out, uh, which is recorded here. We can also confirm this in the customer area. You can also share this link with anyone anywhere in the world to view this current online instance. All you need to do is expose the port and make it public. So once we expose this port, port 80, 80 and make it public, anyone on the internet can access the online instance. It's also good to note that Gitpod doesn't host your online instance for long. It shuts down within a few minutes of inactivity. For advanced used cases, we can also use this online instance to set up and configure our webhook notifications. Thanks for watching. Check out more videos on Hardian Developers YouTube page. Bye for now.